ब्रॉडकास्टर कंपनीज विच प्रोवाइड अस नेटवर्क ऑफ केबल्स right so that type of cable is actually coaxial cable so it has inner conductor then there we have an insulation and then there is an outer conductor and outside the outer conductor there is a jacket okay so we can evaluate the electric flux density uh, between the two conductors and outside the outer conductor so since we are uh, studying electrostatics so in this example we will assume that a positive q charge uh, is uh, actually deposited at the inner surface or the surface of the inner conductor so the density of that charge is actually rho s which is equal to charge per unit area so at the surface of the inner conductor there is a plus q charge and uh, there is an insulation outside the inner conductor and uh, from the faraday's experiment it is evident that after some time an equal amount of negative charge will be induced at the outer surface so the length of this coaxial cable is assumed as l so the surface charge density is equal to q divided by area and area of this cylindrical surface is equal to 2 pi rho l and rho is equal to a for the inner conductor so rho s is equal to q over 2 pi a l now q is equal to d dot ds right so for this region in which rho is between a and b so this rho between a and b is actually the cylindrical surface uh, which is lying over here right so between so its radius will be greater than a and its radius will be smaller than b so this will be the uh, cylindrical surface in between the inner and outer surface and at this surface we have to find out the total flux so total flux is equal to d dot ds and it will be equal to d into 2 pi rho l right and uh, uh, similarly uh, q from this expression will be equal to rho s into 2 pi a l so we can compare uh, rho s into 2 pi a l with d into 2 pi rho l so by comparison 2 pi and l will be cancelled out and at the end we will get electric flux density equal to a rho s over rho so this is the electric flux density when rho is between a and b right and now we can also calculate the electric flux density outside this outer surface so between these two conductors the electric flux density is actually uh, equal to a rho s over rho and uh, when we are actually moving away or we are establishing a virtual surface whose radius is greater than the radius of this outer conductor which is b then that surface will be like this right so it will be starting from here and it will also be a cylindrical surface here and here so for that surface rho will be greater than b and within that surface the total flux leaving out that closed surface will be equal to the charge enclosed and outside that outer surface the total flux will be equal to the charge enclosed and from gauss's law uh, we know that if a positive q charge is deposited on the inner surface then negative q charge will be induced at the outer surface so that the net charge of both these inner and outer conductors will be equal to zero so outside the outer conductor or for rho greater than b the net enclosed charge within that surface will be equal to zero so the flux density for rho greater than b is also equal to zero so this is rho for rho greater than b net charge equal to zero so zero is equal to this and ds will be equal to zero for rho greater than b so there is one more thing which has to be discussed and that is actually 
द सर्फिस चार्ज डेंसिटी एट द इनर एंड द आउटर सर्फिस सो एट द इनर सर्फिस द सर्फिस चार्ज डेंसिटी इज इक्वल टू रो एस वन और रो एस इनर एंड फॉर द आउटर सर्फिस द सर्फिस चार्ज डेंसिटी विल बी इक्वल टू रो एस आउटर राइट सो वट इज द रिलेशन बिटवीन दीज टू सर्फिस चार्ज डेंसिटीज वी कैन फाइंड आउट नाउ द टोटल अमाउंट ऑफ चार्ज एट द इनर सर्फिस is equal to plus q total amount of charge on that in outer surface is equal to minus q so total charge is same with opposite polarity but the densities of that charge uh, will be different because the surface area of the inner surface is smaller and surface area of this outer surface is larger so the relationship between them can be evaluated we know that rho s inner is equal to this rho s outer is equal to minus q over 2 pi bl and from here q is equal to this and from here q is equal to this minus rho s outer into 2 pi bl and from comparison uh, we can write rho s inner 2 pi al is equal to minus rho s outer 2 pi bl and 2 pi l can be cancelled out and rho s outer will be equal to minus rho s inner a over b so this is the expression between rho s inner and rho s outer and uh, we know that a is smaller than b so rho s outer will also be smaller than rho s inner uh, clearly the signs will be opposite because charge charges have different polarity for the two surfaces but the magnitude will also be smaller for the outer surface because the area of the outer surface is larger so its density will be smaller and vice versa so that is all about our today's lecture and i hope you have understood the concept uh, for watching more lectures please subscribe this channel until the next lecture it's good bye